What's up, family? I know y'all saw this coming. Donald Trump has fired FBI Director James Comey. Now, supposedly he fired him over his mishandling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation. But now, if y'all can recall, Donald Trump was under investigation himself. Now, Comey was handling the investigation into whether or not members of the Trump campaign colluded with Russia to fix the 2016 presidential elections in the U.S. And it is not suspected, but it is known that that is indeed what happened. I don't know what was taking so long for James Comey to bring him to justice. I don't know what was taking so long for him to actually provide proof because everybody knows no way possible does a classless, low-life, dumbass dude like Donald Trump become president of the free world. I mean, just, you don't get any dumber. You don't get any crud than that. The dude is a low life. He can't be trusted. He's a con artist. City slicker out of New York City. One of the worst. Vile human being. And he becomes the president of the United States. Now, I can see that happening back in the 1700s. You know, 1800s. I can see that happening in the U.S. Because you know, we've had a lot of low life ass presidents who even owned slaves. So I can see that happening then. But societies are supposed to go forward, not backwards. And you would think that we would not go that low. We would not stoop that low. Out of all the hundreds of millions of people that live in the U.S., we could have surely found somebody that could represent the country that we can look at and say, yeah, salute, makes us look good, proud of that guy. This guy is a divisionist. He's a separatist. He is a misogynist. He's racist. He's self aggrandizing The dude is a horrible person. He is a self aggrandizing low life. But he's the president of the United States. And some of you motherfuckers out there, y'all proud of. That lets me know how much of a low life you are. Put a self-aggrandizing low life in the White House. Wow. Now, supposedly Trump made this decision based on the information that he received from his uh, attorney, uh, deputy, deputy attorney uh, general by the name of Rod Reinstein. Now, this dude said that his rationale was that Comey was unfit to be FBI director because not only did he fail to bring charges to Hillary Clinton, on Hillary Clinton, but he also put out, he did a press uh, conference that was not supposed to take place. They were saying, this is not how we do things. We don't uh, uh, do these do press conferences that way and all this, some, some old shit that they was coming up with. But anyway, y'all, y'all know, it's, it's a big old hustle. It's a big scam. 
This is a gross, a grotesque misuse of power. That is what this is. And it's not aligned with the so-called American uh, way of diplomacy. This is so, this is not a, this is not how a democracy works. This is something that so-called non-democracy countries do, where the leader or the president is under investigation and he fires the person who is in charge of the investigation. That's what just happened. Y'all can't see the corruption. Y'all still, some of y'all still can't see it. Y'all don't even care. So, you know what? I just realized some of y'all don't even care about the corruption. Some of y'all want the corruption. As long as y'all get y'all way, as long as Trump can uphold your values, your agenda, you don't care if he's corrupt. You like it. You, my friend, are a sick individual. When there's an investigation of the President of the United States of America by the FBI director and the director gets fired. That don't make y'all want to look a little bit close. That don't make y'all distrust the president a little bit more. Just, just a little bit more. Come on, man. What's going on, y'all? Now, here's the thing. Here's another thing. Just yesterday, the White House counsel uh, was told that his national security advisor was subject to blackmail by the Russians. His attorney general, a few days later, was fired. And now they fired the director of the FBI. It's a cover up, y'all. Ain't no more smoke. It's all fire. And Donald Trump got a big old ass guilty tatted on his forehead. Okay, I'm getting a bad connection, so let me wrap this up. In conclusion, Donald Trump is really not the president of the United States. Donald Trump is a figurehead. He is a mouthpiece. The president of the United States of America goes by the name of VP. No, not Vice President. Vladimir Putin. That's what Donald Trump calls him. Yeah. That's who runs America. I hate to tell it to you. I hate to break it to you, man. I hate to tell you all about it, man. I know some of you wanted your country back, but you got rid of Barack Obama and you still ain't got your country back. Because it's being ran by Vladimir Putin. <laughs> what you think about that? How you feel? I know you think Donald Trump is in control. Donald Trump is a puppet. And he got Vladimir's hand all up his ass. Yo, if you like the videos I bring to you, make sure you join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order of protection.